okay? It is fucking lunacy that these people who think they're woke and think that they've got some sort of, you know, cool reasoning process or whatever, but I have to point these things out to you when you constantly come at me with us at shows and, and, and it's my responsibility to, to expose the shows and eh. Again, it's, it's the very same. It's like, let's look at somebody, a company that produces a faulty product, right? Now, the way I live my life, the way that life's taught me coming from the backgrounds I have is that you mind your own fucking business. Now, there's nothing to stop me from looking at the product of said company or persons, that being their content, having a look at it, making my decision to say, that's absolute rubbish. And then from that point onwards, I do not give it any more attention. I don't go back. I just mind my own business. They're part of the spectrum. They have got the right to be and establish themselves whatever way they want. Right? It's fair game. Right? The problem is, is that you've got gullible morons who buy faulty products and then want to attack and, you know, demean the producer of said faulty product, whether that is actually a product like a, you know, a product, or a product in regards to an idea, concept, narrative, stories, these types of things. Everybody's free and fair game, and people can offer up their product, their content. No, people are free to pick and choose and have their attention where they want it to be. And if they're not discerning enough, right, and they've been led down garden paths, then that's their lesson. They're gullible. They're stupid. They have to be bumped in order for them to progress, realise and move on so that they become equipped. Right? The messiah complex of these people that think that it's their duty and responsibility to save everybody by exposing the evil bad peoples, the bad producers, of faulty products, I must expose them. When you start walking like that, you're asking for war. Right? This is why I don't need to sit here and chastise NASA or you know any of these other content producers because I don't have a personal investment in trying to attack them. They don't make me feel insecure. Okay? I can look at their products and I can analyse their products and see if it stands up to scrutiny. See if it matches, you know, direct reality or if it aligns with me if it's some subjective idea ideology or whatever it may be then I can see well I quite like that you know just like a bowl of fruit I'll pick some fruit and I'll go mm, I, I like that I don't like that one but the ones that I don't like I don't need to go attacking the fucking blueberry plantation for providing me a faulty product because I don't like it It's the very same in regards to sharing of information. Again, there's going to be gatekeepers, there's going to be liars, charlatans, snake oil salesmen. There's millions of them. Right? It's pointless you sitting with hatred, pointing the finger at persons for whatever reason. We have to look at what your you know, agenda is when you start that behaviour. Like these people that keep emailing me about it. Right? It's not your responsibility. It's the individual's responsibility. If the individual is gullible enough to sit back and take second-hand information and regurgitate it freely, that's them, they're, that's their problem. So when we're talking about shells and gatekeepers, if I'm talking about an objective question about the shape of the earth is, then I can look at the content of people and see if they're addressing what's relative and what's important. And if they keep ignoring it and they keep, you know, um, obfuscating or avoiding certain things, I know straight away that they've got nothing to offer me. And then I move on from them. I don't then need to start a campaign, a witch hunt about those persons. This is what people need to learn. So that's same as the aspect of government. I'm going to protest the bastards. Hey! Stop giving them your fucking attention. You don't have to buy their products. They only have a monopoly on you when you give them that power. When you tell yourself you're powerless and that you need justice or some fucking shite, some insecure, needy nonsense, then you're part of the problem. You remove your attention and you walk your walk. Whatever you think 
is relevant, whatever you think is valuable or important, you represent that by your walk. Never mind sticking your neb into everybody else's fucking business. All that tells me is, is that you have nothing to offer.